Hello, Pastor Doug, back again with another video. Today I want to take a look at one of my favorite verses in Scripture, and that's Exodus 34, verse 14. Now we read in the Ten Commandments in chapter 20 of Exodus that God is a jealous God. And for modern ears, that really bothers us. We don't like the idea that God is a jealous God. Uh, for the ancients, they had no problem with it because they had a better understanding of God. But for us, it's like, oh, that sounds so petty. It, it sounds such, such a bad thing. You know, we're not supposed to be jealous, but God is jealous. Well, maybe it means something else. Maybe it just means, you know, zealous. God is zealous. No, no, it means jealous. And how do we know that? Well, we read in Exodus 34, verse 14, uh, Scripture doubles down. For you shall not worship any other God. For the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. Jealous is actually a name for God. It's a title for God. Now, if you read in the context, we read in verse 13 that Israel is to tear down all false altars and all pagan things before them, lest they stumble and make covenants with false gods. Because God is a jealous God. God is angry when we are not focused on him. He demands an exclusive relationship. It's all about him. Now, you might say, well, that's terrible. If we do that, you know, we'd be a bad person. Well, here's the answer. We're not God. All too often in our modern thinking, we try to make God out to be like us. And that is a completely wrong way of thinking. Actually, if God is not a jealous God, he would be evil. In order for God to be good, to be holy, to be right, he has to be jealous. I might ask me why. Because all things are from him. All things that exist, including all virtues, are simply an extension of his character. So why is lying wrong? Because God does not lie. Why is stealing wrong? Because God is not a thief. When we read throughout the law of God, we hear those do's and don'ts. Those simply reflect his character. It shows you what he loves and what he hates. And those things exist because they simply reflect who he is. If he's not jealous for who he is, he would be evil. Imagine, if you will, and I'm going to have to use a human example to try to describe this, you know, a judge, a good judge must be jealous for the law. He must desire that the law be followed. Exactly. He must desire justice. And anything that comes against that has to be stopped for the good judge. God is jealous. Why? Because justice is simply a reflection of his character. So when you hear that God is a jealous God, do not run away from it. It is a good thing. It shows you how different he is from us, but it also shows that all those good qualities are from him and him alone because of his very nature. And so he has to be jealous for his very nature because if he's not jealous for who he is, then he wouldn't be concerned with goodness, justice, mercy, beauty, all those good qualities, which again, simply exist because of who he is. And therefore, God cannot deny himself. He cannot lie. You notice in scripture, it says, it's, it says he won't, it doesn't say he won't lie. It says he cannot lie because that's his very nature. And because again, all goodness is simply a reflection of that nature. He has to be jealous for it. Well, we serve a jealous God and let us rejoice in that because that means he's good and he's just and he's merciful. I hope that helps. And as always, Christ's grace and peace to you all. Amen.